Hey guys, so this video is going to be the second video of my top 10 under 10 pounds series. So it's going to be my top 10 bronzers under 10 pounds. And if you guys aren't based in the UK, if you're based in the States, 10 pounds is approximately $15 just for your information. I got a lot of questions about it in the last video. Um, yeah, I made it 10 pounds just because that's where I live, but it's not really like set in stone because I do have a pro few products, especially in this video, that are only available in the US, but they're about the same kind of price range. It's basically 10 products that are really affordable for what we're looking for because obviously m you guys are all over the world, so yeah, don't limit it to pounds or to products. So I'm not going to do this in any particular order at all, I'm just going to talk you through my top 10 bronzers. So the first one is the newest addition to my collection, it is the Soap & Glory Solar Powder Bronzer. Now I absolutely loved the highlighter of this, so I went ahead and bought the bronzer. This is also lovely, it is a beautiful matte bronzer, it has two different colours in it, one's lighter, one's darker, you can use one or the other or mix them together depending on which colour you are and which colour you want to go. It comes with a kind of funny pink spray over, um, over the logo, I don't know if you guys can see the S and G logo there, um, like an iridescent pink spray over, that disappears after one use, so don't worry about that if you see it and think, oh that's not going to look good on your face, you just swirl your brush in it and it disappears. Um, I love the packaging of these. This technically isn't under £10, this is £11, I wanted to put it first to have a little bit of a disclaimer there. I think it's the only one, I'm pretty sure it's the only one that is kind of over budget, however I did get it on 3 for 2 so I don't know whether that's technically cheating or not, either way it's £1 extra and it is lovely so I really really like that. Next up is the NYC Big Bold Bronzer, this is a huge um, I think it's almost matte, but I feel like it has, no it is matte, I felt like it had a tiny bit of shimmer in it, but it's a matte bronzer, this is more of a terracotta colour, so it does have slightly more of an orange tone to it, but it doesn't make you look orange, this is what I'm wearing today, um, in case you guys were wondering, like, oh, orange, doesn't make you look orange, this is very affordable, I believe it's around the four or five pound mark, I don't know the exact prices off the top of my head for every single one of these, um, I'll put it in the info bar below along with where you can buy them from, um, this is great, it's actually quite a powdery bronzer, if you know what I mean, so you, oh, you don't have to, like, really work your brush in it to get the product, you pick up, a, like, a lot of product with one swipe, um, and it does give off quite a lot of colour on the skin, so it's not one of those bronzers that you really work in as a powder and you can't see like exactly where you've put it, this is a kind of stronger pigmented bronzer or a more highly pigmented bronzer. Going from one side to the other, this one is the opposite, this is a very kind of natural, um, more powder based or more powder like bronzer, it's the Body Shop honey bronzer, I don't know what it's exactly called, bronzing powder, shade medium, but it's part of their um, honey line, if you can see the packaging it has the honey on there. This is really really lovely, um, it is a lot lighter as you can tell, it's more close to a skin tone, so if you just want to give your skin a little extra something, if you're not looking at contouring or really kind of creating a very bronzed look on top of your cheekbones, forehead and that kind of thing, um, this is definitely a better choice for that. Um, I really like it, it is more of a kind of work your brush into the product product as well, it's a lot harder of a product to use. Next up I have two bronzers that are actually from the same brand, and the brand is Bourjois, um, who are kind of known for their blushes and bronzers, they're definitely a powder brand. So the first one that I like is the Delice de Soleil, a lot of people like the chocolate bronzer but I actually prefer this one, I think it's a better colour and I prefer the smell. I like the packaging too, it is plastic and you can swivel it round and there is a big mirror in there too. It comes with a brush, this brush actually isn't that awful, it's, like, it's quite good, if you want to throw this in your handbag you've got a big mirror, you've got a brush and you've got the product in there so it's quite convenient for on the go. Um, the product itself is really nice, it has a tiny tiny hint of shimmer in there which you can't really notice on the skin. Um, it is again more of a slightly terracotta colour, it smells very kind of summery and slightly coconutty, lovely, very kind of natural looking bronzer. I find it goes on kind of smoothly, not cakey. I mean, it goes without saying with all of these products that they're not going to make you look like an oompa loompa because it is a top 10 product. Um, I wouldn't put a top 10 product as one that is bad or 
looks muddy or blends badly so um, obviously I like all of these. The next one is the newest release in terms of bronzers for them, um, it's the Bronzing Primer. This is a cream based bronzer which is actually quite rare, the only other cream based bronzer as this gets compared to all the time um, is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Sonnet Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer. These are actually really different, even though they're both creams, this is a very kind of soft consistency. It says bronzing primer, um, you can use it as a bronzer, you can use it like on your cheekbones or in selected areas that you want to use it, or you can use it all over your face before your foundation, just to add, add a little bit of colour. I've used it as both both lovely, it's a beautiful consistency, very very smooth, very very natural, it's not too dark. Um, the packaging is nice as well and I think it comes in at, I think it's 9 99 but again I got this at, as for 3 for 2 so it was under £10. Really really lovely stuff, if you're looking for something different this would definitely be my recommendation for bronzers. Next up is one from MUA which you can buy at Superdrug in the UK. I think this is £4, a lot of the MUA products are one pound, but this one is definitely not. So this is the MUA Bronze Perfection Powder. It can actually be used as a contour as well because it is a bit darker. It's not that kind of orangey toned kind of tan colour. Um, I don't, however, use it for a contour. Um, it does look quite similar to the NYC one and I just wanted to show you in terms of colour um, the difference there. The MUA one is a bit darker. I believe this is around four pounds, so it's a really good price. Um, I've used it quite a bit, I do really like it, I've almost got through the kind of embossing um, on the top, I haven't used it a huge amount, I have a lot of bronzers, um, but I do really like this one and it's great value for money and it's a good colour if you find it hard to get more brown toned bronzers rather than the oranger ones um, and that's what suits you better then this might be a nice option for you. And then I also really like the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. This is something I used when I was younger a lot, I haven't actually used this particular one very much at all because I just don't really use it that much anymore, it's sun bronze, this is num the number 22, um, but again, really really good matte bronzer if you want just an everyday one and it's quite affordable, the only bugbear with this product for me is the uh, packaging isn't great, like the lid is just not that secure, um, I prefer them when they're attached. But yeah, the Rimmel Bronzer is kind of an old classic for me, I go back to that a lot. And then I have a product that received a lot of hype a few years ago in the blogging world, it's the Sleek Contour Kit. Now I've included this in bronzers because I think contour powders and bronzers cross over a lot, so I've included this one. Again, this is a lot darker, I'll compare this to um, the last one I just showed. Um, and it is a lot darker in shade, and this is the light shade. This is actually the lightest colour that they do, so if you are looking to buy the Sleek Contour palettes, um, just bear that in mind, they do come up quite dark, or darker than you would expect, um, which is probably a good thing in terms of catering for all skin tones. Um, so yeah, this is the Sleek Contour Kit. As you can tell, it comes with a highlighter too, which is a little shimmery for my liking, I tend to use the bronzer a bit more. Um, it works great as a contour, but it does also work really nicely as a bronzer too. Matte, again, more brown toned, um, but quite heavily pigmented as well, as it is Sleek. Sleek's powders tend to be quite heavily pigmented, their blushes are really beautiful as well. That's the Sleek Contour Kit, and then the last two, again, are both from the same brand, and sorry for anyone based in the UK, but these are non-UK available products. They are both from Physicians Formula, and they are the Happy Booster bronzers. The first one, I think, is just their standard um, Happy Booster bronzer which looks like this. It does come with a little pink heart in there as well so it does work really nicely if you're tanned um, to use it as a blusher. Um, it's a nice mixture of darker browns, lighter browns, more kind of tan terracotta colours. It's a really good kind of all round bronzer. It does have a little bit of shimmer in there in a few of the different kind of coloured hearts so it is a very kind of glowing look. You wouldn't want to use it as a contour, definitely not. Um, but it really adds that kind of glow. That's why I love the Physicians Formula kind of blushes and bronzers and powders and stuff because they do have a lot more kind of radiance to them, um, but it's not like shimmer, it's not over the top, it's not too much, it is just the right amount and makes you really kind of radiate that very healthy looking glow, um, especially with bronzer because you obviously it looks like you've been outside and kind of living a healthy outdoor lifestyle um, when you've been inside all day editing videos on your computer. Um, the other one is the Heart um, Happy Booster, I don't really know the difference in names, this is called Illuminating Bronzing Veil I think and it's a light bronzer so again 
um, illuminating and it's a veil so it's not going to give you a lot of colour. It's going to be more kind of radiance and just adding that little extra something to your skin. In terms of novelty, why can't I open this? There we go. This is the most novelty product. I adore the packaging for this. It's fuchsia, like neon pink. Um, it comes with a little brush and a pad which I don't use in there, I just keep them in to keep the hearts in place, but yeah, it has loose hearts, how cute is that, I absolutely love this, um, I think it's really adorable. One thing to note with Physicians Formula, they are scented quite heavily, this one in particular, so if you don't like perfumed products on your face then I wouldn't recommend this one. Um, yeah, that is it for my top 10 bronzers under £10, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for your really good feedback on the first video that I did, I'm very glad you guys enjoyed it, and let me know in the comment section below what you want the next top 10 under 10 to be about. I know there's a lot of people talking about blushes, um, so yeah, let me know what makeup product you would like me to tell you about next time in my top 10 under 10, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Hey guys, and welcome to my birthday video. This year's birthday video is gonna be a little bit different. I do a kind of birthday call. I don't like saying birthday call because